<laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> I think the dog ate a whole tuna. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> hey guys, it's Max here from Lawn Hub and Lawn Hub, yes. Uh, as you can see, we have a little unboxing to do. So this is not a new product by any means, we've had it for a little while, but it's the Solo 421 granular fertilizer spreader. Now, we're not sure if it's gonna be completely suitable for this size yard, but that's what we're here to test out. So today we need to get out some mini pill on Clint's ryegrass lawn. Um, the tiff portion of this lawn is now pretty well dormant. It's been pretty cold here the last two weeks in Adelaide. Um, it'll probably retain a bit of its colour through the next week or two with the nice warm weather uh, in the low 20s. But um, yeah, we're, we're pretty sure it's relatively dormant. We're not getting any real massive growth from the tiff. We're getting good growth from the rye. And now it's time for its first granular fertiliser since we laid it. So let's get this out. Here it is in all its glory. So we've got, first things first, this is how it's used. Um, it's a little bit different for those of you that have got the handheld spreaders or the broadcast spreaders. Um, sits here like this, I'm sure that it's adjustable for different heights. Um, and hey, yeah, and gut sizes, that's right. Don't get anything stuck in the spinny thing. That would hurt and it's about that height. <laughs> All right, so it comes with a handle. Give it a quick setup. Right, so that's pretty smooth, pretty cool. As with anything solo, German made, pretty smooth, pretty sleek looking piece of machinery. Um, so it's got a spread direction on the front <clears throat> that can be changed to just spread to the left or all the way across just to the right. So I suppose that's for tight access areas like we'll probably encounter down the side of Clint's yard and um, we're going to go center now the hopper itself holds 2.5 kilos so we're going to be going against that today and we are going to be going at we'll talk a bit more about mini pill in a minute but we are going to be going 2.5 kilos per the 160 square meters so we'll talk a bit more about actual nitrogen and what we want to put on and the plan going forwards in a minute so let's just test this out. Um, this is the, let's see what it says. It's all in German, so I've just got to brush up on my year 12 German. There's some funny words on here, eh? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna wing it a little bit. Now, this here, this lever here opens and closes a little bit further, so you can let out a lot of fertilizer. We can let out a little. So you can set it to a certain point. We are gonna do a little bit of a test today. So you can see inside, as we open and close the red lever, it shows how much is gonna come out of the hopper and how wide the opening is. So that's gonna dictate how fast you use your material. So today, as I touched on before, we're gonna be using mini pill. Um, we are in consultation with Ricey in about the bit of a program for the ryegrass this time of the year. So we've been talking and um, we only wanna put about two kilos of actual nitrogen on this ryegrass in its existence. It's only gonna be around until September. So we've gotta remember that we wanna do probably two applications um, of say 600 grams of actual nitrogen. Now, actual nitrogen comes from your formulation here. This here is a percentage, so 23, zero and 11. They are a percentage per kilo of how much actual nitrogen it is. So in actual fact, that's 230 grams per every kilo of nitrogen we're putting out on the lawn. So we wanna aim for two applications of about 600, 650 each to get up to about 1300 uh, grams of actual nitrogen. Then we're gonna top it up with a little bit of three-way and some money shot that's got extra nitrogen in it as well. So not too worried about the other formulations. We have got some trace elements, which is great for the new grass. Um, so that'll be fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and put two and a half kilos out today. 
and give this little spreader a test out. Now, I really shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. And I just said I wasn't gonna. So five kilo bucket, gone half the bucket today, two and a half kilos. It does say in the instructions that they recommend about 2.5 kilos in the hopper at all times, uh, um, at the maximum. So we'll give that a go for starters and see how we go. I feel like maybe I'm going hunting and I'm bringing back something. I feel like a real proper fair dinkum German man here. <laughs> all right, let's give this a crack. So it says, it says in the instructions, that depending on your pace and depending on your crank speed, it's gonna shoot between 10 and 12 feet in front of you and five to seven feet either side of you. So this is gonna be a bit of a test, but that's what Clint's Lawn's for. And we do like to test things. I am very sorry, Clint's Lawn, but you are a guinea pig and you'll be treated as such. So let's give this a crack. Start cranking before we go. All right, so we went a little bit slow. I'm gonna open up the attachment a little bit further. So we're letting out a bit more as we go along. So it's just a matter of unscrewing the dial and opening it up a little bit wider. Don't wanna to go too much because obviously we don't wanna go dumping tons of fertilizer in one spot. And that's probably way too much. but we live and learn. I'm just gonna close it about halfway to what I had it. Ah, it's better. It's a pretty comfortable piece of gear. It's, um, cogs are smooth to use. It's a little bit weird having to sort of do things without being able to see them, but Everything's got its tricks. So basically we've used exactly the amount we wanted. We've left a little bit, maybe I'll have to top up a tiny bit down here, but that's all we've got left with that tiny amount. So reasonably accurate by going pretty slowly, working out what's best for the pool size coming out. It's gonna be a little bit of um, trial and error. So um, you can also use, you can spread seed with this if you've got a big area and you don't wanna have to lug anything around with wheels grind it out and get the seed out spread. Um, it says on the box also for the Northern Hemisphere people or people in colder climates that you can use salt to spread on your snow um, or ice. So it's a pretty versatile little thing. Um, we've got them in stock on either Water Pro. I don't think we've got them online at Lawn Hub yet, but we will. Um, pretty cool little contraption. Make sure you check out the web and see if it's for you. I knew it would come in handy. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we've got two and a half kilos going out, which is, we can work out the percentage from that. Um, it's 230 grams times two, which is 460 and a half again, which is 115. So we're looking at about 580 grams of actual nitrogen that's gone out on the lawn today. We're gonna do this again in 10 weeks. So that'll be the last feed it gets. Um, and we're also gonna come back and do some three-way and money shot, and we'll see how that comes along. Right, so the last little word on this Solo 421, I think it was. Um, it's pretty good, it's pretty comfortable. Um, really easy mechanics, um, spins nice and fast. You only have to really give it a little bit. Um, once you work out that this is the open and close, you really, it's, it's so easy. Um, so you just, you're just grinding before you start and then you're opening it. So it's pretty good, very lightweight, sits on your neck like there's no weight in it at all. Um, fantastic little product, I think I might be investing in one. All right, so in closing here today at Clint's, uh, we were planning on doing a mow, doesn't need it, 
We're going to give this the mini pill a chance to react with the the rye. Um, we should see a pretty good result out of that. The trace elements, a little bit of iron, and the 23% nitrogen. So we'll give that a few days. We've got some really, really great weather coming up. We've got some actual mid 20s over the weekend, and then next week we should be back here for a cut. Should be getting some nice stripes. We're going to ignore a few of the new dog patches. We have had a really good result with the overseeding last week, um, where we overseeded the dog toilet patches and the bit of organic stuff we put down. Really good result with that. So we might continue doing that with the dog patches as they come up. Um, we've also got a little bit of a patch over here on the main lawn where we didn't get a great strike with the rye. We'll give that another hit with the verti cutter. We'll get some seed in there and we might even put some sand over it, bump it off so the kids have got an area to play with um, while Clint waters that one. We are backing off the water now. Clint has said to me that he's noticed that it's just, he put out a video the other day saying that it's just not quite where he wants it. It's a bit soggy, it's a bit messy, and it's not, it's a bit patchy. So with regular mowing and the watering coming back, a bit more fertilizer going on, we should start to see a really good result with this lawn. Um, it really is looking good. We've got nearly full coverage. It does look great, it feels great, it's nice and waxy. We're gonna get some stripes in it. There's lots of positives to come from this lawn and there'll be lots more content. So make sure you are subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much to those who have. We hit 800 subscribers today. Fantastic, happy with that. Um, let's get a lot more, get your friends on board and we can teach you a thing or two about how to keep a home lawn. Cheers guys.